What do you think of Trump's proposal, tariffs to keep manufacturing in America? Is that the solution or at least part of the solution? Well, I, I think if we look at what happened during the first Trump administration, we kind of get a better uh, feel for, for that answer. So under the first Trump administration, we saw not only tariffs, but uh, also a very beneficial combination of deregulation, of lower taxation. And the result was that it all of a sudden became profitable to once again produce more things here in the United States. And on top of that, it was he was able to punish a, a lot of nations which are frankly bad actors on the international stage using the American consumer's wallets essentially as a cudgel. And, and so, again, he was very, very successful in doing this during his first administration. Thus far, it seems like the proposals which he has put forward during this campaign are very similar, if not the same, to the things he did that first go around. Housing issue, you know, people spending more than 25 percent of their rent, uh, you know, their income on rent. Kamala is saying she wants to get people in houses that they own and she's going to give this big financial incentive at the beginning uh, to help Americans buy. Is that going to be good for the economy, good for the American people? It's, God forbid, not going to lead to a housing bubble or, you know, something that's going to uh, lead to a housing crisis like 2008, is it? Well, I think once again, we can look to the past, just like we did for, for former President Trump's policy proposals. We can look to the past now with Vice President Harris's proposals and see what would these things actually do in the economy. When we have demand subsidies, we increase demand. No surprise there. But when you increase demand, you don't put downward pressure on prices. You put upward pressure on prices. This is why, for example, with student loans, as we increase the amount of money students can borrow, as we increase grants and other kinds of demand-focused subsidies, you increase the demand for higher education and you increase the amount that students are able to pay. The result of that is colleges and universities increasing the cost of attendance. And there have actually been even not just private sector, but government surveys, or excuse me, studies rather, that have proven this to be the case.